guys, it's Katie here with Life the Mundane. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about podcasts. We've posted a lot on Facebook about us listening to podcasts and Instagram. And if you guys aren't following us there, be sure to look down in uh, the links below down in the description and you guys can go follow us um, to make sure you don't miss out on any fun new information or tips and tricks. But a lot of people have been asking us, how do you guys go about listening to podcasts? When do you do this during the day? Um, which ones do your kids like to listen to and are safe to listen to? And you know, what are the benefits? Why should I bother getting into the podcast world? And today we're gonna try and cover all of that very quickly for you guys. And I'm really excited to jump into it. So let's get started. So like I said, we do talk a lot about podcasts on all of our social media accounts. Um, we came across them earlier this summer and have fallen in love. My kids are head over heels. I listen to podcasts, my husband listens to podcasts, the kids listen to podcasts, and our whole family does it all together as well. But the idea here with this video is I'm gonna be highlighting primarily talking about kid podcasts that we have found really fun and helpful um, in our journey through this. Maybe I'll do one in the future on a mom podcast. If you guys want to see that on some of the podcasts I like to listen to, be sure to comment down below and let me know that. And if you are listening to kids podcasts, I'd love to know what your favorites are because we are always looking for new ones around here. Um, they can't get enough of them. So be sure to comment your favorite podcast down in the comments below. All right, so how do we go about listening to this? Like just practically, technology, technology wise, how do we go about listening to podcasts in our home? So first off is the car by playing it through an FM transmitter. So this is ours, we got it off Amazon. I will post links down in the description on um, the particular one we got. There's nothing special about it. There's a million of them out there. Just pick one. Um, and now they actually offer ones that are Bluetooth. At the time, I don't think they either offered it when we bought this years ago, or if they did, it was more expensive. So we went with the corded option. But the idea is you plug this into your cigarette lighter, you turn this to a radio station that has no station on it, and plug this into your phone, and then you can play whatever's on your phone through your car radio. Um, like I said, they have Bluetooth ones now, so you don't even need the cord anymore. Um, but we do that a lot of times for the car. We listen to podcasts, just like I said, on my phone when I'm listening personally I listen on my phone in the mornings if you guys have seen my morning routine with the kids um, you'll see me doing that and you can check that out up in the i cards above or the description below we also love to play it on our Alexa but we enjoy listening it to it there and also if you don't have a device like that or don't have the ability to do that you can also just plug it in from your phone to a Bluetooth enabled speaker, any Bluetooth enabled speaker, and you can listen to it as well that way. We also, most podcasts are available, if not all of them are available online. If you have a computer in a centralized area that you'd like to listen to it as well, that's another option. So there's lots of ways that you can get the podcast information. You can go through the podcast app on your phone. Most phones already have it on there, at least for iPhones. Um, Androids, you might have to search, but there are podcast apps you can get, and then it'll allow you to search through a library of podcasts. You can also go to individual podcast websites and usually find their podcasts on their website. So that's how we listen to it. Um, when do we listen to it? Okay, so obviously, you know, spoiler alert, we listen to it in the car a lot. Like that's probably where we listen to 90% of our podcasts is in the car. And I have found different podcasts that I'm gonna share with you today that are different times and I have them measured for different times. So if we're doing a short trip, we might listen to one particular podcast that runs about nine to 10 minutes. If we're doing a long trip across town or several errands in the car, I might pick one of the longer podcasts. So I've kind of got a time to that, which has been really nice to make our trips. There's less fighting in the car and the kids are, you know, learning while we're driving around. We moved out recently um, to an area that it takes more tw like 20 minutes to get most places. And so that's a perfect amount of time to listen to a podcast. And um, my kids are really enjoying taking that moment in the car to do more fun and exciting things like that. Okay, so the other times that we listen to podcasts is during meal time. So lunches and breakfast, usually during breakfast I'm reading aloud, but um, during lunch a lot of times things are going on, I'm kind of getting geared up for the next section of the school day and so a lot of times the kids will listen to a podcast while they're doing that 
or they'll do it later in the afternoon after school is over and they will listen to a podcast while they're coloring or building Legos or just things like that that are more quiet activities um, that they can do but keep their hands busy while they're listening. Okay, so what are our favorite kid podcasts? That was a hard one to narrow down. I tried to narrow it down to our top five favorites. Um, we do listen to a few others, but these are the five that I really, really enjoy, and I also feel like I can really stand behind. Um, I have not listened to every single episode of every single one of these podcasts, so I cannot say for sure that I 100% agree with everything. Um, that would be hard to say, especially as they keep coming out with new ones. But I'm going to share with you the things that we love about these podcasts and a few things to watch out for, or maybe that might be deterrence for your family. Um, but obviously use your own discretion. Please listen with your kids or before your kids do. And always use topics, times that things may come up that you don't like to use times to talk about it with your kids and really work through that um, with them. So anyways, what are our favorite podcasts? All right, first of all, I'd probably say Paws and Tales, and it is a fun Adventures and Odyssey, if you're familiar with that, audio drama type um, podcast that is so fun for the kids, and they always have strong biblical truths behind them. I have really enjoyed their episodes, um, haven't found too much that I disagree with. I will say, just as a con for me personally, they did do a couple of series of episodes that were based purely on Bible stories, like where they retold the Bible story, um, and they dramatized it. I am not a big fan of dramatizing Bible stories um, because I feel like a lot of times in order to do that, they end up adding to things and it can becomes confusing for my kids to distinguish what is the truth from what was the added part. Um, again, opportunity to talk and discuss it with your kids, but personally, we just stay away from those particular episodes. They have tons of episodes available. They come out with a new one every Saturday, so my kids are always ready to listen to more. And I do like the fact that they have a lot of resources for parents on discussion guides to go along with them if you guys want to go that far. Usually, we just kind of talk about it. Um, ourselves, those resources are available to you. Another one that is very strongly Bible-based that I really have enjoyed, we've more recently started listening to this one, the Reformed Kidcast is what it's called. And what they are doing, at least in the first season of this podcast, they're going through the children's catechism and they are doing, it's a dad doing it with his two kids. And he's going through the questions, about five questions, four or five questions, per episode, going through the questions, asking the questions, having the kids answer the questions, but then he's also kind of explaining and fleshing out the things. So who made you? God. Well, what does it mean he made you? But what I really, really love about this podcast probably the most is that the kids just interject their questions as they go. They're like, hey, daddy, that's a good question. What do you mean God is three persons in one? Like, how can he do that? Or how can he be everywhere? And the cool thing about this is these are questions that pretty much, if you're a parent, every parent has had their kid ask them these questions if you've gone through um, the catechism before with your kids. And he does a really good job of addressing. I really, really just appreciate the way that this podcast is done. It's very fun, lighthearted, um, but definitely more for learning. So my kids can't like binge listen to a bunch of those, but we listen to one each week as we're also going through the catechism questions and getting to discuss that a little bit further um, with them. Now, switching gears a little bit, we're going to jump over to a more sciencey based podcast and that is Earth Rangers. Oh my goodness, my kids adore Earth Rangers. This is probably number two on their list of favorites. Earth Rangers is not, just so you know, is not a Bible based, creation based um, podcast. It is a secular based podcast. So far they have had, as far as I know, they've had like two two episodes maybe on dinosaur things or any reference of like millions of years ago as far as creation goes. Just give me the heads up with that. But it has been such a fun one and we really have found only one or two episodes and we just skipped those. And that's not been an issue whatsoever for our kids. If you're familiar with um, the Kratz Brothers, it's a Wild Kratz kind of TV show. It's in podcast version. And my kids love all the fun facts about animals. They play different games during the podcast. All right, so number four, I guess we're in four now. Number four would be the um, Real Cool History for Kids. This is 
obviously a history topic one and it has been so much fun for my kids it comes out the thing they hate the most about this podcast is that it comes out every other week so they have to wait longer in between episodes <laughs> um but this is done by angela odell which if you're familiar with master books she writes she's written some of the history curriculum for master books and the math lessons for living education um she has written that as well and she just shares short stories it's about six to ten minutes long I think um, and she shares short stories of history and usually ones that are maybe less known and so I my kids have really enjoyed hearing that but that is definitely more from a Christian based um, Christian based mindset in the sense that she does share how we are a part of history and God has made you and God has made you here for a reason and you are part of history in the making or how God used these specific historical figures so we've really enjoyed that the fifth and final one is classics for kids Again, switching topics. This is all about classical music. And what I love about this one is it's really short. It's about six to nine minutes long. So it's going to be great for anywhere you go. And it is stories having to do with either particular pieces of classical music, composers of that music, um, or maybe the genre of music. And they basically go through, they play a sampling of classical music, and then they talk about whatever it is. And again, sometimes it might be like, hey, today we're talking about the string section, or sometimes we're talking about Beethoven's life and his background, um, or we're maybe studying a famous conductor, whatever it might be. There's a lot of variation within it, but it's all focusing on having kids, helping kids understand and appreciate classical music, and helping them understand um, something behind it. Now, I will say it goes really fast because it's a lot of information in a six to nine minute window. So because of that, um, my kids don't pull out everything, but they definitely do learn. They are learning something. And if nothing else, they're learning to be exposed and appreciate that kind of music. And that brings us to why should you even do this? What is the benefit of listening to podcasts? Why shouldn't I just put on a movie or listen to audiobooks or just put on music, whatever? Let me tell you, first of all, there's nothing wrong with any of those other three options. Um, they definitely all have their time in place. But the benefit of podcasts that I found is typically they're fairly short nuggets of truth that you can give your kids on new information, new um, adventures or stories or themes or school lessons, whatever it is. They're, I mean, they're literally podcasts on everything. Um, but it gives them these little pockets of information that are great to prompt instruction and discussion with your kids. They are great for engaging their minds and getting them to think. And while I love audiobooks and we do listen to a lot of audiobooks in the car, um, sometimes the disadvantage of audiobooks is it might take us a week to get through it. Whereas this, they can have a beginning, middle, and end just on our trip from here to Walmart kind of thing. So I do like to vary it up a little bit, and I just really feel like it has helped our family grow a lot. We've learned a lot of new fun things that was not covered in any of our curriculum, um, and we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. And it's just been a fun way to grow and learn. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. And again, please drop links or, um, or the names of your favorite podcast. And let me know if you'd like to see a video similar to this on my personal mom favorite podcast. Um, and I hope that you guys will check back in later. Like I said, I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you haven't had a chance already, please subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, please like and give it a share. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.